Hello everybody, welcome back to the Street Fighter 1 Credit Quest. I kind of uh, fell flat there a little bit. I, my throat just decided to die. Anyway, uh, today we are playing as Birdie. And uh, I did some practice with him because I didn't want to lose him. Look at that. I'm going to play the alpha color because white birdie is just something that nobody needs to remember. Anyway, as you can see, he's a charge character. Finally, took this game long enough to give me one of those. Everybody's a prototypical freaking Shoto clone. It doesn't make any sense. Like, everybody everybody has a quarter circle input. Even Birdie, he has this axe handle attack. And yeah, sure enough, it's the same freaking thing. Although his supers are not, uh, are not charge based, they are quarter circle based, so like... Birdie's like a weird hybrid of himself. We should have gone for the kick one, to be perfectly honest. Well, I know for a fact now that's not an anti air. That's an anti air, I guess. I never end it. I don't know what the fuck he's saying right there. Hurt! Hurt! Maybe his ending will revolve around him getting over his sickness and then being alpha boom. God damn it, fuck you. Although this was before Birdie was Street Fighter V, so they had no predilection that he would become that mess. Yeah. Yeah, what the fuck did Capcom think they were did they think they were fucking cute? Damn it, that move only works at range. Oh, oh. Dead. Mwah. I am I am Birdie. I'm number one. Is that really what he says? I don't think so. Alright, here's Reuse alternate. Well, besides Alpha Reuse. That would've been cute if we had Alpha Reuse versus Alpha Birdie. No. Fuck you. Oh wow. You can charge these things up in the middle of sweeps. No wonder people do sweep to charge combos. probably a reason why people like Birdie. He can be fun to play. He is your um, prototypical powerhouse not grappler character. Mostly because you don't have chains in this game. Mostly because, you know, they didn't ever conceive of using Birdie again until 19... Until 1995! <laughs> Oh, remember the episode of Johnny Versus where he was playing Street Fighter and then he just showed Birdie not being able to hit him? I never run. I never run. You've got a lot to learn before you beat me, Dragon Keto. <laughs> it was fitting that was good for you. Oh my god, the music. Oh my you know, you know. You cease to surprise me. Here. I'm number one. I'm He could be saying I'm number one. Maybe. This game needs an official translator. That's what it means. This game needs an official translator. This is the... The original Street Fighter is the goddamn Axl Rose of fighting games. It's like most of it is just left and buried and never to be seen again. But... The parts that did show up decided to come back for a reunion tour. With a totally different band. I'm There you go. And Gicky. Doon Gicky! Oh no. Somehow I'm in the mood to play Marvel. I don't know why I'm in the mood to play Marvel. I don't know. I'm just. I'm dreaming up the prospect to play Marvel 2. 
And you know what? Honestly, that kind of horrifies me because, well, there's 56 characters in that game. <laughs> not even counting Abyss, which I will not do an episode for Abyss unless there's a way to cheat him in one of the versions. And the other thing, I am hearing on number one set, strangely. Huh, Birdie, Birdie might have been the long lost message behind Robbie Rotten's claim to fame. <laughs> you know what am I talking about? That's the internet's job. All the internet did was just demand for Birdie to come back. It got, it got Birdie back, and then they realized that they created a horrifying monster. Seriously, what the fuck is up with Birdie and SF5? He's so weird. I mean, he was... I didn't, I didn't even think he was that cool in that Street Fighter Alpha. Like, just... As a character, Birdie doesn't make any sense to me. But you know what? Whatever. I'm starting to figure out what to do with him. He might be a charge character, not even a grappler. I don't know, there's not really that many grapplers in Street Fighter, just Zangief, uh... Zangief, T-Hawk... I'm trying to think, who's one for Alpha 2? Or Alpha... Alpha anything that's not... I mean, potentially Birdie, I don't know, I would need to play him in Alpha, because I've never played the Alpha versions of Birdie before. I mean, I never really played this version, except for, like, practice mode. I don't know. I'm, yet again, I'm recording this after the Joe episode, but just... These characters, a lot of them have nothing going for them. Just, there, there's no interesting lore details, like, even, even for Birdie, you know? Like, him and Eagle, they showed up in later games, but they're just filler for the most part. I mean, Eagle literally is filler. What can I talk about today? Uh, today I had a very interesting run-in with traffic. Uh, well, actually, no, it wasn't really traffic per se. Like, it it was it was one of those instances where I was in a parking lot, and just just to get this out in the open, yes, I do, I have a car, I drive, and you know what? For a lot of the case, a lot of the time when I'm driving, I hate it. I hate driving. Not fun. People are freaking morons. Oh, hey, look at this mirror. This is the man I practice with. Yeah, just just for comparison, that's the original. Like, like, yeah, obviously it's not the Alpha Sprite, but you can see how much of a difference they made to Birdie's design in Street Fighter Alpha. And that's only supposed to be like a couple, like, I guess not a couple, just like a few years after this game. So, Birdie really did recover lightning fast. And then he blacked out into a food coma. Da! I don't know. It's always going to circle back to Street Fighter Fight Birdie. Throw him up into the air. I'm number one. He's saying I'm number one. That's what he's saying. No way he couldn't be saying it. Shit. Oh yeah, was I talking about Street Fighter grapplers? Yeah. And then obviously you've got the Street Fighter 3 series introducing, um, Hugo and, uh, Alex. And then there's... Maybe Hakan, maybe Rufus, I haven't played them yet in Ultra Street Fighter 4. And then, I don't know if Nikali's one in Street Fighter 5. It's just, it's just, not that many grapplers in fighting games. I, th I think that's just a sign that, like, grapplers in fighting games are dead. Like, there's no reason to have them anymore, because nobody, lo nobody wants to program them. They're really hard to play as from the player's end. You know, like... 
they get they get often just get stereotyped as idiots. Like just we we need a movement for this. We need, we need to set up a GoFundMe to give give fighting game grapplers respect. Make one that's smart, goddammit. Wait a minute. No, I'm ignoring one of the most famous ones because he hasn't shown up in Street Fighter for no reason. And his name is Mike motherfucking Hagar. Why? Why didn't they put him in Street Fighter Alpha? It would have made perfect sense. They could have done the freaking grappler clash because all they had was Zangief and D-Hawk. That's all they had. I don't even want to count Birdie, just because he has more charge inputs than anything else. Like, just, yeah, as I say, when Zangief and, uh, T-Hawk have simple moves. But guess what? A Mugen doesn't really respond well with 360s, unless, unless I'm horribly mistaken. I mean, then again, it would have to be, considering you can, they've made Mugen versus Zangief. And every other Street Fighter grappler. Marrrr! Wow, that launches people far. Good God. You're not gonna play before you beat me. Bye, Genki. <laughs> I ironically love that quote. It's just so goofy, but I love it. Okay, this punch is broken as shit. Like, if the computer doesn't block it, they're fucked. Okay, Gen's fighting a way around it. Unfortunately, his... First line response is just to block it. I mean, unless I'm at a very certain distance, he can't kill me if I just keep using this. That is really weird. I never. I mean, for KF94, it's worse. Because. I mean, who do you got? Um, you've got Clark Steele, uh, Rolf Jones, and Goro Diamond. That's it in King of Fighters. Just for comparison, look, like just 1994. There was only five grapplers at that time that people really cared about. Even then, a lot of people didn't even play the first King of Fighters, did they? I don't even know anymore. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I clicked my start menu by complete accident. Hey, look, it's Retsu. What are you doing today, my guy? Like, how you doing? How the eyebrows going? He's upset that he fell into the water. Every time you encounter Retsu before his end, is after his ending, except when you play as Retsu. Now he's just a stubborn son of a bitch who hates water now. Retsu is salty about water. And then you fell into the ocean. I'm sorry. Can't really, can't really, can't really help you there. <laughs> I can't really help you there if you're salty about it, because you've got salt all over yourself. See, this series is like the good side of me, and then KOF 94 is just the oh my god, I want to destroy the entire planet side of me. <laughs> That's a weird... Okay. I think I fought through... I think I fought through everybody, if not almost everybody. All the regular characters, so... Either we've got, like, one more character left, or we've got, uh, Cody next. I mean, that Birdie's episode went by really fast. She's got the washing machine, and she's making food for a party. 
which it smells like cake. Arr, get screwed, eel. I, I guess you could say I ruffled his feathers. Oh, that was a horrible pun. All right, let's fight these bosses, shall we? Cody time. Whoa, I'm getting grabbed. Literally the one character in this game who can grab is... And that's only because he was in a beat-em-up game where you can grab people. Okay, here's the thing about Cody. Either you knew him as the protagonist of Final Fight, and that was it. Or you knew him as a criminal. That was it. Like, I don't, unless you really care about the FGC, you didn't know that Cody had something outside of his either protag or criminal uh, business. Although in Street Fighter V, I can't, I can't wait to see Cody in action in Street Fighter V. I mean, we have to get through Falk first, which I don't care about Falk. She's, she just seems really bland. It looks like the friggin' that female version of Gainitz that I have in red. That's what she looks like. She's, she's um, supposedly Ed's underling, which Ed was an underling. So like, what? What's even the purpose? Like, what is this inception? Unless they're just partners, which would I guess would make look more sense. Her! Oh shit! Oh my god! Can I hit you? Never mind. He can hunt me. That's what he can do. It doesn't work for you, Cody, though. Hey, Don. I don't know if I wanna... I'm gonna leave it up to a random number generator again. Either I'll play Adon and get him over with, or I'm gonna say fuck it. Oh god. Wow! Now I know probably more exp uh, people expect me to play Street Fighter 2 after this. I might actually play Street Fighter Alpha. I might just have to play Street Fighter Alpha after this. Uh, maybe not play the entire Alpha trilogy, because that would just be boring as all fuck. And plus it'd be really predictable. But, I mean... Fuck you. Get out of my way, Adon. You annoying sack of shit. Even that statue back there doesn't even care about Adon. He's so freaking annoying. Hard. Go away, Adon. Nobody likes you. Nobody likes you. Get you. <laughs> There's a weird point I'm about to. There's something weird I'm about to bring up. I don't know why, but some people when they sneeze, it's really funny. I don't know why. Even sometimes when I. <laughs> Alright, pardon me. Oh my god, what? <laughs> the moment I start talking about it, it just happened. <laughs> if you can hear my mom sneezing in the back. <laughs> She's coming the evil eye. Ooh. What an interesting way. There we go, there. There's something unique for this episode. There we go. See, every episode of Street Fighter 1 might be boring for like the first 90%, but hey, you just gotta look for that uh, little glimmer of hope. Alright, there you go. I don't want to put fire, I'm about to beat up Saga. That does as much damage as I'm fucking standing heavy. And never then. It sounds like people, the voice actors in this game, were told to speak with their teeth biting their tongues. What the? 
What the fuck? Sagat, why are you so strong? Why are you so strong, Sagat? What's your problem, man? <laughs> what the fuck? What just happened? How did I engage that voice all of a sudden? I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's very really obvious or not, but... I, I've made a character before. His name is Scrub Mang. And he is a very bizarre character. And there we go, we beat it. There you go. He's basically just all my pent-up salt when I'm playing a fighting game. Ha ha ha! I'm the best! Wow, it actually reverts you to your original. Nothing weird. And now that I'm champ, I can quit working as a bouncer and live the good life. Yep, I'm big time now. Hee hee hee. Hey, you! Freeze! Huh? Huh? You thought you could get away from me, didn't you? There's no way I could let you get away this. What, are you talking about me, mate? I've done nothing. That was Ozzy, I'm sorry. Done nothing, huh? Alright, then explain the 200 parking tickets I have here for you. 200? What? 200, I forgot about these. He, well, I don't know what you're talking about, so leave me alone, okay? <laughs> you can play dumb all you want, but I have permission to use your winnings to pay for the tickets, so there! And hand over that check, buddy. Uh, what's that over there? What? <laughs> what? Birdie, get back here! Birdie's Comic Relief, I think. I've got nothing to add. Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, I'll see you all next time. For, for Adon. See ya.